Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Welcome back to Kenshin and welcome back to Adventures of Ruka. Ruka, who has made some paper last time. We're at 92k right now. We got ourselves some very luxury stuff, edge type stuff. Uh, good weapons, as I said. That's that's what we're going for. We're going for the good weapons. You got this hood that I'm not quite so satisfied with, just because of that melee attack defense malice that we have. So we might want to replace that, but otherwise, I think after all of this good weaponry and all the money we made, uh, we're gonna start looking into better armor soon. Not quite. Uh, our goal right now is just get back to hub, uh, store some of the stuff that we have so we can be fast, and then we're gonna go out there just using the guardless katana so we can level up our dexterity that is the current goal i think this episode is going to be trying finding those bandits starving bandits and just chopping them up leveling up our dexterity well so probably mostly starving bandits because the dust the bandits might you know have something to say <laughs> against us trying to level up dexterity on them like their their attacks probably are not that bad so hey uh, also, if we are going for good armor, we might want to go visit the uh, Mr. Armorsmith, which is not going to be that easy to get to, but there's a skeleton armorsmith uh, who is pretty much the best armorsmith around. He's called Armor King and such. Right, there's, the, there's this place. So there are those bandits around here. It'd be nice uh, fighting them right now. Do you guys have any, any friends or such? Hmm? I wonder. Uh, where are you at, Ruka? You're there. We'll see what we can do. Um, let's provoke one of them and tell them that their mother is a whore or something like that. Hey, you. Your mother is a whore. He's, he's a coming. So is Ruka. Everybody's a coming right now. Of course, the rangers are shooting at us. Come at me, bro. Come on. You can do this, son. Let's do it this way. Okay, the rest are chilling. I think there's one of them maybe coming. Okay, they're, they're a coming again. They are a chilling again. Okay, this guy is definitely gonna follow us. Um. Sure, let's uh, let's switch. That puts us on 33 there. If you put this like that, yeah, that's much better. 35 def uh, 35 offense, 38 defense. Let's see if we can level up our dexterity. It's currently at 18. Unfortunately, uh, our ratio isn't really gonna help us with that. But hey, she's gonna be much faster attacking. She's not so good at defense due to the fact that, you know, she's using that, but hey. Also, the higher her skill at a certain weapon, which already she got 11 to katanas now, uh, the more damage she does. So, we certainly wanna fixate on one type of weapon, and I think the hackers might be our way to go right now due to the fact that uh, we have that very luxury item that's gonna do a lot for us. She did not level her dexterity at all. Which is a bit unfortunate, to say the least. You know? A bit unfortunate. She got hit once. Let's see if we can uh, get more of them to come and follow us. Of course, they're all like ranged boys. Why wouldn't there be? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Taunt him again. Tell him his mother is a whore or something like that. You know, as is tradition. Make him follow. There you go. That other guy isn't following. We don't really want to fight the archers. That, you know, it's not something that's benefiting us. Well, that's definitely more damage than she did before. Her katana skill is definitely going up. Her dexterity is going up like 1-2% for each swing. Yeah, it shows that her racial XP is not so good in that one. So we'd have to do a lot of fighting with us. Just to get that. But she didn't even get hurt. Which is good. Hey, where are you going? Your mother is a whore and all that stuff. 
you know? Come at me, bro. He's kinda coming at me, but also not coming at me. The problem is he can shoot, you know? That is certainly a problem. Okay, you know what? Don't get shot, Ruka, but murder him. Good. Are they gonna come in now? Uh, they're a bit confused with what to do with their lives. The problem is if the rangers start coming, then that is a slight problem. She didn't get hurt again, so... She's certainly doing her thing. Uh, looks like this is the leader. Let's, let's see if you can taunt this guy. Get him to come towards us. That'd be great. Okay, he's coming a bit closer. You know, it's just something you gotta do when you're a loner like Ruka. Okay, let's, let's go into his face. You don't want to click on him because then she's gonna around here, she's gonna stop and you slowly advance on him. But if you sprint directly into his face, there's a lesser chance that he's gonna be able to get that one shot off before you get to him. That's why we are uh, doing it this way. He also kicked us in the nuts. I don't like that. Okay, you haven't leveled up your dexterity at all yet. Okay, now she should. There you go. 19 dexterity. Of course, we have some armor that lowers our dexterity. Which is not so good. So we might, you know, being a loner or all, we might... We might switch to a bit lower class gear because we don't want malices. These guys are gonna fight somebody else, it seems. Oh yeah, they're fighting the shack. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy to fight me instead. Let's attempt that. Go get him, Ruka. Go get him. Don't let the shack have all the fun. The shack are gonna have all the fun. Yeah. It's too late, Ruka. It's too late. I mean, you tried. You leveled up your dexterity by one point. I mean, you did something. Oh, oh, the, the archer was right here. Didn't even see him. They hit him for 136. Damn. Well, there's more. Oh, there's another archer. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ruka, get him all of them. Get in on the fun. Look at that. She's actually doing stuff. Good. Don't let them... Oh, they're now hostile to me? What a surprise. Who would have thought so? Well, Ruka, you done your thing. Go heal yourself. Good stuff. This guy's playing dead. Let's see if we can wake him up. Got caught stealing, huh? Buddy, wake up and play with me, son. Wake up and fight me. Wake up. <laughs> What a pussy. Anyway, uh, onwards to the hub, I think. Because why not? We don't really need to stop at Squin. Um, I think that's acceptable. Let's switch to this bad boy for a bit. Yeah, our dexterity training over here did not quite work well. Um, I think we might have to do some research and uh, get the dexterity bench and uh, strength bench. I mean... Uh, I don't know. Uh, you guys tell me what you think, okay? You guys tell me uh, if you think if I should do the research and get the weight bench, the dexterity bench. Like, you can level up dexterity on that bench to 29. And you can uh, level up strength to 59. But anything above 50 is very slow. So, uh, yeah, you guys tell me if I should do this. Or, you know, that, that would be like extra 10 points of dexterity. And extra, like, maybe 15 points of strength. That would be something I can do without having to go out there. I mean, strength is not hard to level. It's just extremely annoying. Um, so, yeah, you guys tell me what you think. And uh, I'll listen to you. See uh, see what we do. Honey, I'm home. Don't need to unlock. Look, Rook, I can just do this. I wonder if he's still inside. Oh, he... I guess he disappeared. <laughs> That's fine. There's an empty room bottle on the our stairs. Uh, I wonder why. In any case, let's store these two things. Uh, keeping that on us, keeping all this on us, 
we are still a bit over encumbered with all this stuff, huh? And this is 24 kilos. Yeah, to actually be able to really use that, I think we... Yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We need higher strength before we really use that. So I think for now, we're gonna go with this bad boy. Yeah? We're gonna go with the saber. We have solid skill in sabers. We have that as a secondary. Uh, there's our food. We have plenty of food on us. You know, we don't really want to be too over encumbered. Uh, these two weapons are definitely gonna help us in the long run. But for now, I think, yeah, I think we go with this bad boy. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the plan. I mean, I said we're gonna go level up at dexterity, but also let's let's have you guys uh, help me with the decision how we're gonna do this, right? Let's do that. Let's let's have you me uh, let's have you guys help me with the decision if we we either go and train dexterity and strength the old way, you know, try to go out there, haul iron around, fight starving bandits with a you know crappy weapon until we are good uh, or we do some research get the strength bench and the the other bench the dexterity bench or dexterity training dummy and double up was that a dog it was a wolf let's go fight the wolf yeah uh, so yeah tell me what should I do and so in the meantime what we are actually gonna do is we're gonna go out there and we're gonna go visit the armor king. Well, solid damage. Don't, don't, please, don't get. There you go. Block him. There you go. Um, so yeah, visiting the armor king, and uh, see if we can get some solid armor for, for ourselves. Now we have plenty of money. Uh, we can make more money. So it would be really good if you have like top-notch armor when we go out there. Uh, also, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you be, buddy. Ruka, you do want to heal yourself. How are you doing? Slightly injured. That's fine. Didn't even get badly injured, which is solid. Mm, sabers got up to 25. That's pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, unfortunately, into the lands of the Holy Nation. There's not much else we can do. And uh, we're going to take the back roads, I think. Back here through the Okrens Gulf. Back this way. Maybe find some cannonballs out there. Uh, or well, the, uh, the nasty fog boys, and we're gonna go over here, the flotsam safe house where we were once before, and then go into the vent, as uh, the path leads like to here, and then we have to swim to the armor king. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Of course, yeah, let's go this way. Of course, we could also go to the deadlands. We do have uh, protection. And the the dudes, the skelly boys selling stuff there, they usually sell good weapons and good uh, they sell some valuable research materials but they also sometimes sell some armor so you know that could be it could be useful to us we'll see but let's go to the armor king first i think that's going to be our today's adventure so there's some triangle bandits camps out here uh we gonna ignore those guys because they're pretty solid fighters and i think right now we are content with not fighting them that is the Holy Nation boys, so we're also content with not fighting those guys. There is again some more Triangle Bandits. We are 21 miles per hour, we should be able to outrun them. The Holy Nation boys also do not go after us, so... Hey, that's acceptable. Uh, we do not... Well, we got all the way here, huh? I wanted you to go further this way and not go into the Fertile Valley. I wanted you to take the, the back roads. I'm sorry, Ruka. There's military bases, but that's fine. We want to go on this road, I think. That's where we're going to go. We're going to hopefully not see any patrols around. That military base is there to defend against the, the nasty creatures of the Fog Islands. Please stop going closer to that place. Let's, let's go this way, shall we? You know, go, go on that road. Let's go out there. Holy Mines, that lays directly on that road. Uh, but I think we should be fine if we just, you know, run past it. No, no real issues. I mean, we can we can outrun it around here. I think. We'll just go this way. 
We don't really always need to follow the roads, right? Patrols and such. Yeah, we can we can avoid them. Now the road kind of dips in here. We just keep up up that way. You know, there's there's rebirth. We were there once. <laughs> Ruka was just a slave, but he's no longer just a mere slave. He is so much more now. So much more. She still needs to do a lot more fighting before she can get her skills up to be to be feeling safe. But the main reason why we're doing this uh, is to get gear enough, get good gear enough to be able to go out there and with relative safety grind our skills, right? Now, this place over here is full of these bad boys, the Fogmen, who we don't really want to meet because they can outrun us. Oh boy, that was extremely close. <laughs> I was extremely close, they already started again, uh, running after us, but they decided not to. So yeah, there's a ruined holy base which is full of these guys, like, extremely full of these guys. There's just, just tens of them. We can... I don't know. There's, there, there's some. Look, there's a fogman there. So yeah, uh, avoid, avoid. That's that's a place that Steve and his companions in Matter series are eventually gonna have to deal with. Not Ruka, for sure. Not Ruka. So yeah, we are going this way. There he is, Armor King, Armor King, saving lives with armoring. I like this guy. He's fun. He also has extremely powerful servants. Greetings, new customer. Welcome, customer. Would you like to buy the best armor in the world? Uh, let's ask him. How'd you get here? I started out this shop in the second empire town of Catch. It was a thriving market town, growing very strongly. A great place to start anew and craft the greatest armors in the remnants of the world. So you see, there's a good chance we're gonna see that. We're gonna see Armor King and the town of Catch when we get to see Kenshi too. Which is gonna be, uh, you know, a thousand years prior to the happenings of Kenshi One. So it's gonna be cool. How long was that? I'm proud to say this shop was up and been up and running for 937 years. So well, hopefully we'll see him. So, uh, uh, you see, he started that. I, w I would like to, I would like to like, like talk to. You. Who are you, Armor King? Another armor question. Why are you here in the river? To sell the greatest armor in the remnants of the world. I mean specifically, in this extremely remote and hidden location, it's a ruin. The world is a ruin. People dwell and start new in the ruins and the remnants of fallen civilizations. I fail to see any difference in my own behavior. Okay, that, that's all. I would like to trade with you. If you feel the urge to steal, that's okay. It's natural. Feeling when presented with such great armor. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Show me your armor then, son. Oh, he sells weapons as well. Triangle blade, a plate mace, and a katana. But... We are okay in that. Now, he sells these things as well. Specialist grade is what I'm looking for. Raven's cape. Empty. Right. Uh, that's one of the mods that I have. I don't remember exactly what it's all about. There's a Raven's mask. Medium armor, chain stuff, dust storm and gas protection. Gives you assassination skill and perception bonus. Not the things we need. It looks extremely cool. <clears throat> now, I don't want any of these heavy stuff that gives you malices. That heavy stuff doesn't give you any useful malices. Might be something you want. You see? <clears throat> Might be something we want. I think this cape goes into a backpack slot, maybe? I mean, it's 10k, so I don't know if I want to buy it. Um... Let's see, let's compare the rusty chain shirt to a new chain shirt. He's got special grades. Uh, and we want a chain shirt. Unfortunately, you know, using a uh, leather turtle neck, which, while it's great, it has solid protection, is not what we're gonna use because, you know, we said that. There's Raven Sash as well, medium armor thing. Stealth, melee, melee oh, this has melee attack bonus. That's so useful. But it's only high grade. We came here for the best grade armor ever. Mm, I don't know. Uh, like I don't want to use the samurai armor. We could use the uh, black plate jacket. 
It does have a lower dexterity effect, but it's definitely going to be very solid protection. Although, if you can get a very solid dust coat somewhere, it could be good. This guy doesn't really have such good stuff today, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, the Zookins are also solid. They have some acid protection and stuff. They're medium armor. They have no uh, malices, really. Uh, and we can sell him the armored hood for like 2k. Now the question is, I think we're gonna buy one of these chain shirts. Let's see. 17 blunt. 6 blunt. 38, 60. 16, 60. Uh, let's see. Harpoon resistance is a bit higher. It's 30k. I mean, we have 92, so... We're buying the chain shirt, I think. The turtleneck actually... You know why I would like the turtleneck? Is because it has arm protection as well, you see? 90% on the left arm and the right arm. Well, this one has only 25%. And you can see it has the same blunt resistance, actually. Uh, it has just 10% lower cut resistance and 10% lower cut resistance efficiency. Lower harpoon. You know what? Screw this. We're going with a leather turtleneck. Yeah, you can have this rusty chain shirt. We're going with the turtleneck. I'm sorry. Just the way we roll. I know it's a tough decision. I know I said we're gonna go with more like medium heavy armor, but I guess we're not. <laughs> um, I guess we're not. I am really tempted to buy this thing. It's medium armor and it might look extremely cool. It's only 8k. We gotta, we gotta at least attempt it. Please tell me you can put it on. How it looks. It doesn't show there. That's weird. It doesn't show here either. What? Um, maybe you have to reload, but look at this protection though. It's really good protection. Our assassination skill we don't really care about. Uh, where did the armor king go? There he is. Yes, yes. Let's trade some. Uh, so, okay. We got that thing. We got this thing. This is high grade. They have specialist samurai uh, stuff. So, I think we're gonna buy this one. And we're gonna sell the pants. They were stolen anyway, so... No biggie there. We're gonna sell those pants. And we're gonna buy these pants. I think I'm keeping the samurai lac plates. It's, it's solid. I love my dust coat. But I think we might want to replace it with one of these black plate jackets. Sure, dexterity is not going to be so good. We won't have the acid protection that we certainly need. But we can keep the dust coat around. We're also going to lose a bunch of melee defense bonuses. Which is kind of sad. It was, was the thing. Oh, this thing has melee attack bonus. I mean, if this was specialist great, we might come back. Find a specialist or master work. We're definitely buying that. He's got great protection and he's got bonuses. I mean, to be honest, oh, well, we lost some money. I'm buying this right now. It's got such good protection. It's got melee attack bonus as well. Yep. This is ours now. Sorry, Ruka, just the way it is. We're just spending some extra money for stupid reasons. Uh, so, are we buying this black plate jacket or not? How is our dexterity? It's 19 right now. We have no malices to dexterity, which is great. This would cut it down by 10%. So by like 2 points, we'd go down to 17. I think we're gonna go... I think we're gonna keep the dust coat for now. I'm just sad it doesn't show the helmet. Maybe after reloading it's gonna show it, but for now, we're doing solid. I think. I think that was a good buy. We, we, we spent a lot of money, sure, but we know how to get more money. We got much better gear now as well. So I think that worked out well. Um, you know what? Let's make our way to the world's end. Let's make our way to the world's end and see what their armories there can offer us. I think that's something we can do and level up our swimming as well a bit. Why not? We discovered a thing over here. Winged Beak Ogre Lair. That is from a certain mod that adds multiple new animals. Uh, we're not going there. I do not know how strong that thing is. Uh, so I, I really don't want to go in there solo. <laughs> we might go there with uh, Steve and the companions, we'll see. But for now, we made it up all the way. All the way up here. Unfortunately, kind of too soon. 
because it's still five in the morning so we're gonna have to wait a bit for the shops to open but that's okay we have a headgear shop over here i guess we can pop into the agency uh, already see uh, if they got anything cool and useful over here uh, oh that's that's not the button i wanted to press i want to trade here you go uh of course more meitu stuff as is tradition for these guys high grade black and chain mail that's not so bad uh, they don't really have anything useful uh, i don't know when these guys open probably uh, like seven maybe there's the headgear shop there's the weapon shop is already open let's go here then pop open to the weapon shop see what they got I mean, they probably have some solid stuff, but probably nothing that would be actually better than what we've got. Yeah, they have Mark II and such. Maybe some Edge Type 1. There's Edge Type stuff. But otherwise, no, we're good. We're good. Just, just, just browsing, son. Just browsing. There's the Armor Shop. Let's see what these guys got. Now, the Armor King had... Some disappointing amount of things. <laughs> Although those Revan things are pretty solid. That's from a mod I've been using for a long time now. I just, I don't know, never, I mean, I've not been at the Armor King in a while. So I guess there's that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have really anything we would want. No. Oh, they have these uh, capes. These things, I think, go into chest slot, I believe. Probably. Uh, so nothing really. They have this spoon thing, falling star weapon. No. Uh, that's the ranger shop. Probably not gonna have anything for us. Travel repairs. Let's pop down into the headgear shop that is now open. And after that, I think we're gonna finish the episode. Let's just see what these guys got for headgear. Um, more masks and dachi. Nothing really that amazing. Alright, well, fair enough. This was kind of an uh, armor episode. You guys tell me what I should do about dexterity and strength. Uh, otherwise, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I will see you next time with more Adventures Ruka, Lone Warrior.